little bit of news. Um, I have broken my shoulder. Um, not doing anything exciting, there's no fantastic story that goes with it. I was simply walking with my dad and I fell over and I've effectively um, separated the top part of my shoulder from the bottom part. The break is pretty spectacular. Also quite painful. The problem I've now got, of course, is that I can't ride for the next eight to 12 weeks. Um, the brake is healing nicely and I'm going through physio. Um, so for the meantime, I'm not able to ride. Rather than getting down about it, I figured this would be a great opportunity to do some of those um, product testing videos that I've been meaning to run for quite a while. Now, recently I went to the MCN motorbike show in London, which was, which was just phenomenal. So when I was there, I met a guy called Ewan McGregor from Mount Wise, and we got to talking around iPhone mounts on motorbikes. Now, their solutions actually cover not just mountain bikes, bikes, but actually ones you can wear when you're running, jogging, that type of thing as well. What I've got here is the Tigra Sport Fit Click Bike Console Case. This is for the iPhone 7 Plus and 8 Plus, because they are the same size. Thank you very much, Apple, for making that a little bit more convenient. What I've got is I've got the main phone case, which we'll take a look at in a moment. I've also got a handlebar mount. I'm hoping it's going to be fairly easy to install because I'm going to try and do it one-handed. So I'm thinking if I can install it one-handed, it must be fairly straightforward to do. Let's have a look. I've got the Suzuki SV650, one of the uh, 2002 curvy models. Looking at the handlebars, there doesn't seem to be a huge amount of space to um, use the handlebar mount to physically fit it on. I can see there's a, a small space there, so I'm thinking this is the one that we're gonna um, use to connect this onto. Um, it does up with, Allen, with an Allen key, which does come in the kit. It's a number four Allen key. It literally just unscrews so it comes into two halves. So it should be fairly easy to install. And I've put the lower half in here. So now, you should be able to get the top half here with the two screws and just simply screw that into place. Yeah, even one-handed, that was, that was pretty easy. So here's the next part of our mount. So this part here with a round socket is gonna fit onto that ball just there. So that's that part. And then it's going to clip onto this, the case itself is gonna clip onto this uh, shape here. Now you'll notice that there's a flick switch here. Yeah, so it's got locks and unlocked. And what that will enable us to do is when it's unlocked, can you see those gray tabs there? When it's unlocked, they'll push in and out, which will enable us to release the phone. And then just for extra security, once we lock it, they don't move. So again, it's very, very secure when the phone is on the bike. Straightforward installation. So we put that on there first, and then there's the ball part. So that should fit onto that. And then we simply screw this back on. And that's what's going to enable us to position the phone once it's attached. But once we've got it roughly where we want it to be, should just be able to tighten that up and that should just lock it off. Here we go then. So the case we can take a quick look at. So it's got the hinge on the top and you can see you've got full control access to the lock button and the remote control buttons as well. It looks like it's just a simple pull it up and the clips undo. So we'll do that on both sides. And then here we've got the last and that's then got a like a rubber type of protector across it. So open it up like a hinge, and there we've got uh, another little plastic case inside that the phone can fit into. Now it's rated um, as splash proof, which is pretty good. It also comes with a very nifty little uh, rubber grommet as well. So if you do choose to charge it, the little grommet will fit in here and keep um, the, where the cable is in as secure and waterproof as possible as well. So let's get the phone in. So the outer case is gonna fit on first. And again, even with one hand, that's a pretty straightforward job. And then we'll take the main cover. And again, that fits in really securely. So now all we need to do is fasten it up in exactly the same way, just in reverse. So we've got the shape that's on the back there and it just rotates and fits into place with a click. 
And that's it. The phone is uh, attached securely to the bike. Um, the only watch out I would say with a screen as huge as this is um, making sure that the handlebars will turn both ways, full lock left, full lock right. I just wanted to finish up with a bit of a final review, a summary on the case overall. And overall, I think it's a fantastic piece of kit. Really well made. Um, it's good, it's durable, the clips are nice and secure, and it's splash proof, which is quite important as well if you do get caught out in the rain. I liked the feature that put the little grommet with the charging cable. My bike doesn't have that yet, but if you do have a bike with charging ports on it and you want to charge it while it's on the go, particularly if you are using it as a sat nav, that would be really important. I think the click lock system is very fast, I think it's very easy to use and if you want to get off the bike because you're going to get some fuel, get some lunch or you finish riding for the day, actually that twist and unlock feature is very very simple. In terms of installation, well I managed to do it one handed so I don't think you guys will have any problem whatsoever. My only sort of uh, not quite so good part around the review would be nothing to do with the case itself, more the pure size of the iPhone 7 Plus such a big bit of kit I think you'd have to have a particular mounting point on your bike to make it not very so that it wasn't too obstructive I think on my bike I proved that actually turning full left lock and full right lock with such a, a large foam was quite problematic but again it depends on the bike that you're using and you might have a smaller phone in which case this would be absolutely perfect overall yeah I'd recommend that absolutely a good bit of kit